Next, we have oral presentation number 20, Somerset, New Jersey, Team 1. It's a Mission 7 flight experiment with fifth grade student researchers. Hi, my name is Megan. My name is Natalia. My name is Karina. We are from Thomas Edison Energy Smart Charter School in Somerset, New Jersey. Before we share any details about our experiment, we would like to share our gratitude for all the support provided by our school administration, our principal, Mr. Yodis, our science teacher, Mrs. Ghosh, our parent advisor, Mr. Gajula, the hosts of other teams such as NASA, SSCP, and Nanoracks, as well as all of the sponsors for our experiment. When the SSCP program was first introduced to our school, our team struggled a bit to find an experiment that will both help astronauts and fit in an FME. Our focus was on an astronaut's well-being, so we asked ourselves, what are the most basic things that happen to an astronaut's body? We were stuck on one item, sweating. We asked each other, does microgravity affect how much we sweat? We were very curious about this and decided to make that our question, but then we came across a much bigger problem. How are we supposed to find the answer to that with an experiment? We soon realized that how much we sweat depends on how fast the sweat evaporates, so we decided to do an experiment on how microgravity affects the rate of water evaporation. Water evaporates everywhere all the time from all kinds of foods and our body. We are, that's why it is very important for astronauts to know how microgravity affects the rate of water evaporation. We know water evaporation depends on many factors, mainly surface area of the water, the wind over the water, pressure, heat, and humidity. For our experiment, we'll be using the humidity principle. Now Natalia will be explaining the materials for our experiment. Thank you. When we started planning our experiment, we wanted to make sure that our experiment was professional as possible. And at the same time, we also made a, every attempt to use common materials available at home or at school. We are investigating water evaporation, but believe it or not, the key item is not water, but it's silica gel. Silica gel is this granular product, um, and it is a solid form of silicon dioxide. The main property for silica gel is to absorb water from every source, even from the air. We use this property of the silica gel to, to trigger our experiment or simulate evaporation. The second item we will be using for our experiment is water. We use distilled water from a pharmacy to make sure that sure we have the water in its purest form. We also use cotton to support water in silica gel within the FME. The cotton helps wa hold water in one volume and keeps the silica gel from rolling to the wet cotton. Karina will now share more on how the experiment is conducted. Thank you, Natalia. We will be conducting our experiment in a small test tube, which is known as an FME. An FME is an abbreviation for fluid mixing enclosure. We will be using a type 2 FME. A type 2 FME has two volumes. One volume will have silica gel and a little bit of cotton to keep the silica gel in its place. In volume two, we will have water supported by additional cotton. The clamp in the middle allows us to control the start and the end of our experiment. 
The job of a cell cajel is to absorb all the moisture in the FME. When this happens, the humidity principle kicks in and the water starts to evaporate and fill up the gap created in the FME. This is how we will simulate the evaporation process in the FME. We plan to conduct conduct this experiment both on the ISS and on Earth. The difference of the weight of the cotton with water before and after our experiment will determine how much water has evaporated inside the FME. Once the experiment is over, there are two ways to find out how much water has evaporated inside the FME. One way is to find the difference of the weight of the cotton with water before and after our experiment. Another way is to find the difference of the weight of the silica gel before and after our experiment. Now Megan will talk about the two possible outcomes of our experiment. Thank you, Karina. There are two possible outcomes for our experiment. The first outcome is that the rates of water evaporation will be the same. The second outcome is that the rates will be different. If the rates are the same, it means microgravity has no effect on the rate of water evaporation and astronauts don't need to change their daily drinking habits in order to stay healthy. If there is some difference, it means microgravity does have an effect on the rate of water evaporation and astronauts may need to change their daily drinking habits in order to stay healthy. From our experiment, we will also learn how to conduct experiments, how to present information, and how to compare data. We are very excited about our experiment and hope for more opportunities like this in the future. Thank you. Ladies, ladies, first of all, you were fifth graders when you did this experiment. Amazing. You, you also got us very nervous because I was walking up to cut you off mid-sentence and you ended with one second to spare. <laughs> we are, we're going, do we really need to cut? Yeah, we do, because that's the way a research conference runs. Okay.